Alright, it's on? Cool. Hey guys, welcome to North's Cookie Show, number, volume, I don't know which one it is, I've done a few now. Uh, this one I'm going to try to be serious, usually you know, it's going to be a bit comical. But um, today I'm going to cook uh, just something I just came across my mind while I was at TAFE today. Uh, I've got a lot of things I need to use, so I'm just going to do my version of like a honey soy. But it's going to be a, a spicy honey soy beef um, stir fry. So, hope you like it. Man, that light's in the way, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, first off, got some oil on the wok here. Um, Going to get it nice and warm. So we'll give that one, just turn it on, so give that a couple of seconds. And I'll be back with you. Alright, <laughs> sorry, bear with me. One thing about working with electric frying pan, or electric stove, should I say, is um, I take forever to heat up. I miss my gas, but I got to do what you got to do, especially when you're renting a house. So. Alright, I've chucked a little piece of onion there, just to let me know the oil's ready. It's ready. Alright, I'm going to start off with adding some nice, beautiful uh, beef strips that I've cut up. A lot of you are probably thinking, oh, like from before in some of my videos, how can you not adding onion in first? Now, some dishes I do, depending on what I'm cooking, but when it comes to stir fry, um, mainly especially, or something that I want to have fresh, I love the veggies to still have a crunch and still have their flavour. You know, like I believe that if you cook it first, personally, it just lets out too much flavour and you lose that taste, and all of this is just an added ingredient with bugger on taste. So that's me personally. Others might say differ. So what I'm going to do is cook the beef down first. And I want the beef to stay tender, so I'm not going to cook it all the way through. Just as yet, I'll let that cook through with the sauce. But I do, will cook the meat with some garlic. I've got two cloves of garlic here. Probably about a heat teaspoon. Right. And uh, some ginger and lemongrass. I love to have zing with beef, especially beef. It's just The zing and the, it's so good. It just releases the flavor more. So I've got some lemongrass and ginger here, which I've smashed up in my mortar and pestle. Uh, probably about one strand of lemongrass and a little nugget of ginger I've cut up there. I don't know about the measurements, I'm not a proper chef, I guess. I don't really um, measure too much. I'm trying to obviously say to you rough idea of how much I'm putting in it because a lot of you guys end up messaging me saying you know how much is it can I have the recipe so if I just tell you step by step hopefully that answer all your questions for you because I'm a busy man so it's a bit hard to get around to everyone anyway I'm gonna cook that through for a bit longer and then I'll add the onion oh that's smelling amazing already if cameras could have like a smell around you guys could like smell food Oh, it'd be awesome. I'll probably be fat watching food channels all the time. Fat anyway, but probably on a diet. But hey, never trust a skinny chef, eh? <laughs> Unless he goes to the gym. I wouldn't mind being skinny, though. I'll have time I will. Anyway, <laughs> not for my personal life. It's done a cook for it now, still a light pink for it. I'm going to add some onion here, so I've got one big and a small onion sliced up. That's how I like to have it. And stir fries, similar to how you would on a sausage sizzle, but um, a little bit thicker. So I'm going to cook that through so the um, onion is broken up evenly. It's not going to be a, it's a quick dish, this one, which is good. So I like it, especially when I'm hungry. And uh, I've got other things to do. I can't be bothered sitting here doing cooking all day, all night, should I say. So, that fruit. Oh, see if I can take this off to show you. Oh, I'm a 
before I start the blue tack, so as you see here. Alright. Put you back there, put me on the vision. Alright, all good. Alright. Now I just want to get it so I can see the onion just slightly starting to change colour. And all broken. Alright, that's looking good to me. Now I'm going to add in the capsicum. Probably about two large capsicums here. Slice, looks like a heap, but they're the only veggies I'm using. is onion, capsicum, and bean sprouts. Afterwards, but that's just more of a, more again texture, but look as well. I love presentation. And just, you know, all your different flavors, so. All right. Now, just to speed cook this, I usually chuck on my little um, special uh, wok lid. Which the old girl got for me, I love it. So I'm going to sit that over there just for about a minute, no, not even that, 30 seconds. Let the heat come through so the moisture comes down and softens so it just speeds up the cooking and also keeps the meat moisture as well. Back in a sec. Alright, we're back, so get on for about. Oh minute. This is smelling amazing. All the flavours are fresh. Still got their crunch. And all releasing their all individual flavours. Alright, now I'm going to add the spice part. I've got a, a teaspoon of uh, Chinese spice spice and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Use chilies, crushed chilies. Chili seeds, whatever you want, depending on how spicy, I want to have a little bit of a bite. So, I'm using cayenne pepper, and cayenne pepper is so good for you. Anyway, you know, for your blood, and um, a few other digestive reasons. I'm not a health professionist, but I've read up about it. <laughs> and I just love the flavour of it, so I've gone with cayenne pepper. Alright, now to add the sauce. I've got a tablespoon of um, oyster sauce, a teaspoon of fish sauce, um, and about two tablespoons of soy, and a one large tablespoon of blue gum honey, which I end up getting from my health food store at Manapara Shopping Centre. Rather than knowing I'm using organic, fresh stuff, that's just not condensed sugar, like most supermarkets sell you. Came at semi healthy, your own natural sugars. Alright. Alright. Pop that through. Smelling so good. Now it's not going to take long for all these flavours to combine. Just really want the honey to melt and go for everything. That's not far off serving. Just want to keep the moisture in there, so I'm going to chuck the lid on for just a further 30 seconds. And that should be done. Actually, forgot one ingredient, which I love in there. Just give it a little bit of a nutty flavour, some sesame seed oil. There you go. Alright, there that combined, back in a jiffy. Welcome back. Check that out. Oh, sorry. It's pretty much finished. So my last ingredient: bean sprouts. These take bugger all to cook, and I don't want to make them shrink and shrivel. So I'm just going to quickly um, stir them through, keeping their crunch. And obviously their look as well and colour. I don't really want to go fluorescent and um, just look soggy and yuck. Especially when I'm whoop, all about presentation. Alright, that's looking good. So now I'm going to turn this heat off. 
Good to play it up. Back in a minute. All right, welcome back. So there we go. North spicy honey soy um, beef stir fry. Played it up with some rice I prepared earlier. There we go. Garnish with some shallots. Bon appetit. Quick, easy, fresh, tasty. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Take it easy and God bless. Bye.